so hello guys how are you hope you all are doing fine so as i promise you that uh, in this time i am going to record my lecture chapter wise session wise so that you people get the things in the classroom by the interaction session as well as the complete discussion in the classroom as well as i am also going to record the things which is available in in this uh, particular session in this particular course so let us begin from our chapter number 1 session number 1 this chapter basically i have divided into the two session and but the contents of this chapter is like this as you know the course is research methodology and in this uh, chapter number 1 introduction to the research we are going to learn this particular six things like meaning of the research here you will understand what the research is what is the definition of a research what is the definition of research by the different scientist especially in the social science then we will move to the type of research basically we are not learning type of research like five types six types seven types it's not like that we will learn the type of research on the basis of certain criteria on the basis of certain basis like on the basis of process what are the different type of research on the basis of outcome what are the different type of research on the basis of type on the basis of time what are the different type of these things we will see in the type of further we will move and we were learning we will going to learn about the motivation of doing this research means why a person or a scientist or employee is conducting or doing a research what are his motivation the motivation can be a general the motivation can be very specific general i can say that general what are the reasons why a people are doing research specifically i can say why a company is doing a research we will see that one in that particular things then we will see research and scientific methods research and scientific method here we are we have the four criteria if any research fall under these four criteria it means i can say that research is a scientific research we will see what are those four criteria then the research process uh the research process means from the beginning of identification of a problem to the submission of the report the complete process we are going to see in this particular 1.5 session and finally we will complete this chapter by saying that the what are the criteria of a good research means what are the things must be there or what are the things we should avoid to become a research a good research so let's guys Uh, by keeping this thing in my mind that i am going to check you a very good tour of the research and getting a good feedback from your side in terms of your interaction in terms of your questions in terms of your understanding let us begin with first slide meaning of research see whenever we are asking about the meaning of research people are saying that they are finding a new thing in the research actually it is but it is not limited to that one so research is always an organized and systematic way of finding answer to a questions let me repeat research is an organized and systematic way of finding answer to a question what the answer is for a question the question is a problem means i am facing a problem then i am going to find out the solution for this one but not hypothetically not randomly i have to gone through a organized and systematic way of finding that one then we will move to the a collection of method and methodology that researcher apply systematic to produce scientific based knowledge about the social work you see here you got the two term methods and methodology basically they are related terms but not the same terms methods i can say it's a small terms but the concept is not a small a small comparatively with the methodology method means like the tools which i am going to use like survey like questionnaire like observation uh, like a technique i am going to use qualitative technique quantitative technique that is called as methods and methodology is the total process why i am using this technique what is the going to be apply uh, met, uh, benefit of applying this te te technique over here why not i am applying different technology so this giving the uh, applying reasons for applying any methods or choosing any methods for my research is the methodology total process and methods is only those things which is helping us 
or those tools which is helping us or those technique which is helping us to do this research so i hope you understand some basic point about the methods and methodology so further moving the process of finding solution to a problem after a thorough study analysis so guys i can say that research in a simple way research is an organized and systematic way of finding a solution to a problem research is a organized and systematic way or it's a it's a group of a step or it's a process of a step by step in an organized and systematic way where we have a certain problem and we are finding to give a solution we are trying to give a solution to them so if you see there further it's a, again the research may be considered as a organized systematic data based critical objective means totally specific scientific inquiry or envisagement into a specific problem must be specific it's it is not like a very general problem and we are giving the solution for a whole world no it must be very specific undertaken with the purpose of finding answer or solution to it so same thing but in a more organized way so i hope you understand the meaning of research so if if you have to define the research the best answer is like that the research is a process in a systematic and organized way to find out a solution for a problem this problem can be a very big problem then we sort out those problem into a smaller one and we are giving the answer to them let us move further and understand the type of research you see if i will see i if i will say you there are 13 type of research you may confuse if i say you there are the two main type of research you again confuse because further when we are studying in chapter 3 or chapter 4 you somewhere you will see that the, the research is of four type somewhere you will see on the basis of process research is of two type on the basis of technique research is of two type on the basis of data collection research is of this type so instead of to reduce this type of confusion let me tell you generally research can be classified on the basis of following traits means on the basis of outcome of research whether the research try to solve a particular problem or make a general contribution to the knowledge research can be of two type fundamental research and applied research let me show you so let us go one by one so this is the, my first basis the first basis of our research type is outcome like fundamental research it is also called as basic research here researcher aim to investigate for a new principle for a new law for a big problem of the world and try to give the solution for that it is not restricted to only a smaller or specific things or only limited for a limited time it will it may go for the many years even the fundamental research is also the apply where the Uh, you are going to make the what you called as the negative result of what people world believe that previously believe world believe that the sun revolve around the earth then the research comes and it says it <coughs> research prove that one and again these type of theories like darwin theory of evolution newton law of motion einstein theory of relativity so these things when we are going when those things which are going to change the world and scientist want to do a research in a more detailed way that is called as a fundamental research to give the theory to uh, uh, prove the theory even sometimes to dis disprove the theory this type of research is called as a fundamental second research is generally we as a students of management or as, as a student of phd or as a student of bb or whatever we are doing the applied research even in the organization we are doing the applied research means we are facing a problem we want a immediate solution immediate solution may be the 3 months 6 months 1 year that will be there but our so problem is very specific our problem may be only for the one group of society our problem is maybe for the uh, one group of uh, area one area like if i am going to find the problem for the kabul it may be only applied over there so this type of research where my focus is only for a limited area 
for a limited problem for the immediate solution i can say that is the applied research so you can say the first one on the basis of outcome of the research if the outcome is to prove something to give a big solution to disprove some law or to make a new law it is called as the fundamental research when we are our output or outcome outcome will be on the basis of i want a immediate solution for immediate problem it is applied research then how we conduct the research means on the basis of purpose on the basis of purpose we have the four type of research one is called as exploratory research another one is called as descriptive research third one is analytical research analytic research and fourth one is predictive research uh, let me tell you this, these four are the most important in terms of that one but you should also know those all things so on the basis of purpose the reason why a research is conducted it can be of exploratory research basically exploratory research means when the previously you have the very limited knowledge about the things or when there is no knowledge and you are going to find out what is this all about how it works to decrease your anxiety to increase your knowledge when you are going to do this things the purpose is to increase your knowledge the purpose is to know what our what is all about this one the purpose is to how to know how it works the purpose is not to find out why it works where i am going to apply this one why this thing is better than this thing if this is not the purpose if purpose is only to increase your knowledge because the knowledge is limited in your area or the knowledge is limited for, or the the thing is very coming for the first time all people are very much confused and people have try to get the knowledge of more i will give you some example over here like for the first time or 20 year or 30 year back for the first time when the internet was introduced or internet was applied only for or using only in few countries so other part of the world like india or afghanistan or any other part of the developing country they want first they want to know what is this all about how it works what will be the benefit of these things what is the future of this thing so this type of questions when they are so this is called as exploratory research we want to explore the things we want to increase our knowledge at its name employed such research is aimed at discovering identifying and formulating a research problem here we want to know about the what and how not more than that so let me tell you one more thing this can be a complete research in itself or this can be the first stage then you will further move after getting the knowledge when you are moving to the next one it is called as descriptive research descriptive research is a research in itself also like suppose already we have the knowledge of certain things now we all know what is the internet we all know what is the social networking side we all know that uh, what is the motivation of the employee but now we want to know how this employee are motivated what are the factors which motivate the employee who are more motivated male are more motivated females are more motivated what are the things which motivated my employee so when i have the knowledge it means i have the ex exploratory knowledge before now my purpose is to explore the things not the explore my purpose is to describe the things which is already explored like if i am saying that the i want to i want to find out the what or what is the role of social networking side in the development of society so i want to explore the role how i will i how i will do this one i will do a survey i will ask some people those people may be the educated people illiterate people so i will find out what is the role what is the changes in there after using this particular things so exploring after exploring describing the things in a more detailed way in terms of chart in terms of graphs in terms of central tendency in terms of these all things arranging in terms of comparison when we are doing these things we are getting the descriptive research so we can say that the descriptive research is in itself is completed when we our purpose is only for this one to describe the things 
to find out the more detailed way in a more organized way. Further, we will move to do go with the analytical research. Let me tell you one more thing. Analytical research is also known as causal research. Analytical analytic research is also known as explanatory research. Here, this is also if you go by the level, like suppose somebody has done the exp exploratory research, then he moved to the descriptive research. Now he also moved to the same research with analytical research. Means level wise also it is true, separately it is also true. What does it mean is separately if you want to know what is the meaning of how I want to, first time I want to know anything that is and I want to finish my research only getting my uh, knowledge to increase my knowledge that that is called as exploratory research correct and when I have the knowledge and I want to give the more detailed more organized more systematic way to find out the factors to find to give it is a more organized in terms of some descriptive analytical or with the help of some descriptive statistics if I'm going to give the answer that will become a descriptive research further I want to go and I want to find out the reason why this thing is happening and how this thing is happening this thing is known as analytical research causes cause and effects we are using apply we are applying different type of technique for analytical research generally inferential statistics we are using like correlation regression so here it is not only the describe the context but also the analyze and explain why and how it happened so sometimes a, a single researcher can apply can go through the all like he is going through the exploratory research descriptive research analytical and predictive predictive is like forecasting like forecasting the problem like suppose in the future if this type of problem will come what are the solution so let me try to find out the solution of that one you people remember there was a problem of y2k in year 2000 a computer is not able to get the date of because of 00, zero. Uh, whenever we are coming to the 2000 it will become 1900 so it was a problem if you realize the problem before and try to give the solution like a proactive approach this type of research is called as predictive research so separately they are different type of on the basis of purpose we have the exploratory like uh, getting the knowledge for the first time because the knowledge is limited or there is no knowledge about the product or the things descriptive research knowledge is available we want to give the more describing we want to give the more explanation we want to give the more systematic organized organized way then analytical research we want to find out the answer for the why sep and predictive means uh, predict about the or forecasting about the problem of the future and try to give uh, give some solution to do itself so in that case separately they are research in themselves step by also they can be like that one. so on the basis of process first we understand on the basis of outcome then we understand on the basis of uh, this one what you call as the purpose then we are going to understand on the basis of process on the basis of process we have the two type of research qualitative research and quantitative research qualitative research as you can see the name itself the research which cannot be expressed in terms of numbers which cannot be expressed in terms of quantity so they have to feel like the feeling of a person how oh, can i say i, I am 100 percent happy a 100 gram happy or 200 gram sad no i cannot give this type of things to my expression to my feeling to the kindness so this type of research if i am going to conduct or this type of data are there in my research or one part of my research is related with this one i can say it is a qualitative qualitative like motivation like dissatisfaction like appreciation happiness sadness this type of research are qualitative if you find to find out these things this type of, and quantitative when we have the number the number is there to comparison the number is there for ranking this type of research is called as quantitative like sales 
how to increase our sales figure how to increase our income how to how to improve the grade so these type of things are uh, remember one more thing uh, basically it, uh, generally in maximum of the research both type of things are there people want to find out the motivation level of the employee or how to increase their motivation level as well as how the motivation is impact on their income so qualitative and quantitative both are there but we should have the knowledge about these things if the process is somehow related with the non-numerical things like the feeling you cannot define in terms of quantity but in terms of quality you can say it or quantitative means when you are defining in terms of numbers we call it as that further we will move and we can say on the basis of environment on the basis of environment means where my research is conducted it has three types like field research laboratory research and simulation research field research basically where my where i am getting my data from like survey research is a field research maximum of our social science research is carried out on the field research because if i am going to take the interview i am going to the office of my representative or i am going to to the way school of the students for on whom i am going to conduct the research i may take the interview i may observe their activities so this type of things where i am going actual field to collect my data this field can be the offices this field can be the colleges this field can be the uh, playground this field can be anywhere where i am collecting my data the first hand data is called as the field research laboratory research is basically done in the lab where we will fix the environment like this much temperature must be there this much of compound or this much of mixture is there generally this is happening in terms of medical science agriculture natural science where we have to find out the new things like the breeding new chemicals uses of new medicines so these types is conducted basically in the laboratory research and the third one is simulation research such research uses the model to represent the real world like you want to conduct some software how to increase the efficiency of the software or how to reduce the error of the software or this type of things you want to conduct for the banking system so you are not going to the actual bank and do these things but you can create the actual situation of the bank in some particular place where you will the using the same software but with the virtual id with the virtual client so that you will find out what are the problem you are facing and this type of research is called as simulation research so on the basis of environment field research laboratory research and simulation and finally the last type is on the basis of time we have the two one is called as one time research one time research means you have started the research you have conducted the things and you finished in in a single time whether the time is for the 3 months 6 months 8 months 10 months 12 months whatever the means you have you did not have break during your research you have completed you have started you have completed that is called the one time research longitudinal research is such research is also called as ongoing research means for a certain period of time i do the research then i stop over here i find some result then further i will wait for some time then again i start my research from the same place from where i stop over there so this research is breakdown of the research means stop for some time. like suppose i have conducted one research in the in winter season and my research is carried only in the winter season so i will do 3 months research in this year then i wait for the 9 months again i will start my research where i stop over there this is called as longitudinal research so if you count it total there is a 13 type of research but what are the basis behind that that is more important like on the basis of as you understand on the basis of outcome we have two fundamental and applied on the basis of purpose we have four exploratory descriptive analytical which is also called as causal as well as which is also called as <coughs> explanatory and fourth one is predictive then on the basis of process we have the qualitative research quantitative research on the basis of environment we have the field research laboratory research simulation research 
and on the basis of time required we have the one time research and longitudinal research now before moving to the next thing before moving to the next part which is called as motivation of doing the research let me tell you one basic things what do you think a research a topic or a research i'm giving one example you can think about yourself i will also give you the example i will also give you um, the reason behind that if suppose i'm giving you and i'm asking you so one research is there what do you think that research is only fall in one category or it can be categorized in every way let me give you one example suppose my own research facebook impact on the student performance in terms of their academic or in terms of their social life what do you think what type of research is this one let me repeat the title i'm talking about uh, impact of facebook on the student academic and social performance what do you think what do you think my research is what type of see my first my research is applied research second my research is not exploratory my research is descriptive because i am describing the things in more organized way then my research is also analytical because i am giving the reasons why this thing is happening my research is not predictive i am not giving the solution of the predictive problem so i can say my research is applied research as well as my research is descriptive as well as analytical further i am using both type of things like uh, i want to know about their grade how they impact their grade so my research is quantitative also i know i want to know their uh, social social performance means how their behavior with the parents how their behavior with their colleagues how they are behaving in front of in front of the other people unknown people known people so my my research is also qualitative qualitative as well as quantitative and my research is field research because i am going to the college i collected the data from there i interview the professors so my research is field research and finally my research is one time research it's not a language only research i i started research within one and a half year i have completed my research so this is the things how we can understand the type of research i hope you understand the most important part of this chapter let us move to the next one which is called as motivation of doing research motivation of doing research i have divided into two part one is general part and second one is specific reasons like general reason is uh, being a student you want to get the degree so it will give you the consequence benefit that's why you are doing research for getting a degree it's a general motivation of doing research among the students among the researcher to get the respect and promotion you are working in is in organization as an employee as a researcher and to get the promotion to get the respect you are doing you are finding a problem you are giving a solution or in an organized way so it's again a motivation desire to face a challenge in solving the unsolved problem you are a person you are ready to get a challenge and you are facing a problem you might personally or somebody else is telling you that problem is there and you want to going for a, that challenge and giving the solution for that one desire to get the intellectual joy because you are a creative worker you are a creative person your <clears throat> your work is related to with that one your mind is more decline to the your interest is there so this type of things like interest like some direction is from the government government is saying that the uh, who is going to conduct this research we are paying for that one so this type of things are the motivation in general in general way within the organization within the colleges within the society by the government by own interest these are the motivation of doing research generally when we are talking about the specific like our specific is organization our specific is business because we are the social science students we are the students of bba or mba so we have the very much specific things like any business is doing research because of the following reason to get a competitive advantage yes we are going to conduct a research what is the gap in my product or in my competitor products how can i get the advantage i will do a research to test a new product or services i am going to do a research i may do a simulation like a model of the actual things and i will test my product or i may give the some uh, what you call as the <clears throat> sample to my client and i will ask 
what is their feedback this is also a research to solve a management or organization problem some problem is there related with the conflict related with the employee leaving the job related with the employee demotivation stress this type of i'm going to solve this problem so all the organization related problem whether it is related to the product new product existing product competitive forecasting the future sales on the basis of previous sales on the basis of current sales how to how the people are changing their attitude towards my product how they are shifting from my place to another place or my product to the another competitive products this also we will see how to increase the profit how to reduce the cost whenever we have the specifically doing research for this particular reason or for this particular motivation we seeing that the the motivation is very much specific so i hope you understand this part so this is the first session of the first chapter in this chapter and this session we have learned three things like what is the research what is the meaning of research definition of research then further we have learned about the different type of research on the different basis and then we have uh, motivation of doing research on general basis on a specific basis in the second part first further we will continue